the fray once more. We can't turn back now. Better to die here than at Immaculate Hands. More misery, more terror. I'm growing too accustomed to the sight of corpses. If we do our job, these will be among the last we find. We can't turn back now. Better to die here than at Immaculate Hands. I, I thought we'd left danger behind us. Danger behind us. We can't turn back now. I, I thought we'd left danger behind us. Ending darkness.
to drown my sorrows with ale. Death is its own deliverance! Smells like an infected foot, but we've cleared the last of the mushrooms. I'm sure the bats won't mind. There's no evading my blazing fury! I'd prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. Tripping.
seems we weren't the only prisoners to find passage in- Ah, oh, it's like, like the sun after a long and frigid winter. We've lost so many in these terribly dark days. But you've even rescued our dear Nolan. Words cannot express our gratitude, dear hero. But perhaps something I overheard could be some compensation for your troubles. One of the orcish brutes mentioned that Grutelda is collecting quite the stash of loot. You can find the entrance to the cellar from her office in the tavern. Here, I'll show you. Thank you, our hero. Thank you and goodbye. I'd prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. My! How did a spleen get lodged in here? Hey, don't mess around these immaculates. I feel like I've just had a long What do you think you're doing?
calm as dragon's breath! An intact finger! Just what that deviant of an orc was looking for! the orcs want with all this boat. Make a chandelier, most like. And a very ostentatious one it'll be. <laughs> this wall could really do with a lick of paint. Blood gets so ugly when it dries. what that deviant of an orc was looking for. I wonder what the orcs want with all this boat. Make a chandelier, most like. And a very ostentatious one it'll be. <laughs> oh, I could do with a cold drink. It's heating up. It's hopping all the way to my boot soles. Here, look at you! How I admire one whose head is lodged so firmly upon their shoulders, like a spire that rests upon the breadth of its foundations, one and indivisible. Not I, alas, I fare not so, for I may replace my battered cranium as jauntily as a wizard may his hat. Just consider some of these examples here before me. How I admire this one's kingly brow, that one's exquisite jaw, yonder one's deep-set sockets that held a warrior's eyes. Why make a permanent choice? Why not cater to the occasion as called for? I would, but for the question, where does the soul reside? And so I ask, where are you, O oh, ephemeral soul? If in a tooth you may be pulled, if in an arm you may be broken, where are you, O oh delicate monstrosity, as have we all? Townsfolk would sit on these benches and talk about their day. Children would sprinkle water at one another and snigger. Now their mouths neither talk nor snigger any longer, and all that is sprinkled about is blood. Days pass me by no longer, only the dreams of what was, but can never be again. Surely you jest when you question this question's importance. Say I opt for that there fair-featured sovereign of a skull. What happens if another soul lies therein sequestered? 
If I play the part of the aforementioned wizard and swap its rugged lineaments for the feeble ones that are my own, who shall I become? I, yes, who is I then? Were I sure that the soul houses within the chest, within one's little toe, for all I care, I would fret not so. But the certainty I long for remains as impossible to find as one specific raindrop in the rain. You, oh, I beg of you, have you not the answer? so rude and so wrong. He should just pick a new skull if he wants one. It won't change who he is in the least. Can you really be so heartless as to call him soulless? Very well, have it your way. But of course. Why was I so blind? The soul is not of the body, it is of the spirit. A new skull I shall have, but same person I'll remain. Oh, the agony of choice. I think I'll opt for the one with the kingly brow. Walgraf smiles as he looks on, what? while the skeleton in the cherry picks the perfect new skull. The last a friendly pat on the back tells you he here. approves of your kindly reassuring axe. a dead man his soul is safe. Ugh. Watching a talking skull choose a head is like watching a dog do a backwards crab walk. It gives me the heebies. The dog looks up at you with misery-ridden eyes. Its tail doesn't wag, and when it tries to bark or speak, only silence reaches your ears. The dog hangs its head then looks north. Filled with fury, it barks noiselessly in the direction of the forest. Really nice. With frantic, jerky motions, Woolgraf writes the following message. Sorcery silenced this poor dog's tongue. We must go north and find the bastard that did this. Perhaps he can undo it. Perhaps he knows a cure for himself, for me. Some say death, but it's more of a second life. Right? An intense passion burns in Woolgraf's eyes. To find the dread silencer, to make him reverse his incantations, it is but a dream. But what if there is truth in it? Woods, I split a human so clean it off. All his in and stayed firm as apples in his gap. What are you doing, lingering around here anyway, human? Rutilda doesn't tell you a thing, does she? We're waiting to fight the final battle. The time is near. We'll have none of that! You here? Guaranteed to be plenty of dead after one of them. What is it that you so enjoy about death? Well, some say death, but it's more of a second life, I say. A peaceful one, a quiet. Death is its own deliverance! The peace I need from serving the goddess. A life of peace, I say. Let the lost die that we may live. Look, there. Again, the lost one struts oh, by. Gratilda gives me plenty little dears to keep myself company. You aim so low, Ogma. Think of all the little dears you could have if you took matters into your own hands. Not even the old mother can bust this steel in a single blow. Stop that! Look, there! Again, the lost one struts by. Gratilda gives me plenty little dears to keep myself company. 
You aim so low, Ogma. Think of all the little deers you could have if you took matters into... Bacon like a cake. such useful relics. Share in the plunder. Who knew vermin could harbor such useful relics? Dragon's breath! Oh, my son. 
such useful relics. Share in the plunder. By order of the All Mother, huge discounts on magic baubles. Huge discounts on magic baubles. By order of the All Mother, huge discounts on magic baubles. Huge discounts on magic baubles. Feeling hot under the collar. As good as a new penny. On the mend. A stitch in time, eh, my friends? Back on my feet again. We'll have none of that, you hear? Yeah, I'm dripping. Oh, I'm dripping. These toxins cannot be denied. You there, cut it out. That's enough of that now. Hey, stop that. Hey, stop that! What do you think you're doing? Haven't you heard, Flatlander? We make the rules around it. By order of the old mother, huge discounts on magic balls. Your grave opens 
to welcome you. 